What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at an Amazon return fashion and technology box. Now the whole trend of Amazon return box has been massive and I did a spin on this myself. The places that you get these are liquidation websites that are basically doing auctions for these different things or they sell them outright. I initially have done like three of these for fashion. So the other website that I've been to, Box Liquidation is the one that I went to. The one for this one was liquidation.com that most of the YouTubers do. The other one sells stuff from like designer clothing stores. So I've gotten things like Gucci from some of them. I've gotten things like from Versace. This is like, I'm starting a department store. The retail was $595, a Versace tie, okay. Different crazy things, but those have been all fashion box. Now this is specifically from Amazon. The original person I saw do this video, now I know there's people have done it before, but random Frank P is the one that I saw do a video of this a while ago that blew up and I was like, I wanna do something like this, so let me put my own twist on it. So I did the previous ones. And those were fun and all, but I really wanted to get into this Amazon. I wanna do an Amazon returns box. So I went on the website and I've looked on there probably four or five times trying to kind of find how I can twist this into my world. And then I was able to find a box that has somewhat of fashion and technology. It has different things like watches and there's just a whole bunch of stuff in there. If you guys don't know, I dabble mostly in fashion and hype beast things on this specific channel, but I do like like setups and stuff like computers and all that. I've been a fan of that for a very long time. So this is actually really fun for me. You guys, it might not have seen, but we are doing a Yeezy 350 giveaway. Now the last video that I put these in, I had to, something went wrong with YouTube bird box challenge. They didn't like it, so I had to take it down. But we're giving away a pair of size 10 and a half Yeezy 350 frozen yellow. They are brand new, so if you win them, you can just sell them if you're not your size. All you have to do for that is number one, you have to subscribe to the channel. Number two, you have to follow me on Instagram. Number three, you have to comment down below. I'll be tracking when the giveaway is going to be ending so you guys can keep track of all the entries and all that stuff. And the link down below is called Gleam. That's where most people do giveaways. As well as I think there's one day left for this giveaway right here. I'm giving away like Supreme accessories, off white socks, Palm Angels, designer stuff, all kinds. Eight different winners will be picked for this one, and that'll be at the top description too. I was actually super hyped when I won this because it was a whole process of bidding wars and stuff like that, and I'm a very impatient person person. So I was so excited to be able to get it. You guys can see how massive these boxes are. I had to use a freaking wheel dolly to get it to my apartment. So it, it, they're just massive boxes. So now let me cut back to when I won this box and show you guys kind of the website and how I decided to pick the specific box. All right, so you guys have seen before, I've done these liquidation websites, one called Fox Liquidations, and that's like the main one that has like clothing and fashion. But a lot of people are doing Amazon ones, and I've kind of wanted to dabble in that because I've kind of looked at it, and the things that come in there are a little bit odd. So you get like a big mix of things because I feel like they just like go to like where the returns are, and they just throw a bunch of stuff in, and you get what you get. So there's this website called liquidation.com that everybody's been using for this, but I've been trying to look and see if there's things that pertain to what I do, and that's been the hard part because it's not really many of those, but I think I think I might have found something. So like, for example, if I go to clothing accessories and I go to men, it comes up with like cologne, 30 quantity of cologne, sorted men's and youth apparel. So let's go to this one. The current bid is $300 in Canadian dollars, $287. And this is an example of the pictures you get. Like this is all women's clothes and this is supposed to be men's. Like that's a maternity dress. So you can come over here, you look at the manifest and you can see what's in there and it doesn't have any description on this one. But I did find two that kind of could do something. So this one has Apple Watch Series 1. So if we look on the picture, it's an absolute terrible picture. Picture. Let's see what the manifest says. Apple Watch One, HDMI hub. This is all like electronics. This one has Fossil Watch, which I thought maybe it says Steel Series. Steel Series is good for a like gaming keyboard. Let's see. Returns. So basically, people bought it and they're saying it doesn't work or I don't like it. So the MSRP is twenty eight hundred thirty five. One day and an hour left. I might have to start bidding, but I feel like this one could get up. This one will probably get up there because like the keyboard and all that stuff. But I think I'm gonna get on this. Place a bid. Let's say one hundred fifty bucks. I'm gonna check back in. That one I really like, but it ends in a day, so I'll have to check back in once it gets there. We'll have to see, there's already bids. It's gonna go up, I think, but that looks like a really good option. And I'll check back in once I find out if I find something like this one, it's gonna be a shoe. All right, so it is currently 5.16. The listing ends in less than two hours. It ends at 7.10. I'm trying to go to it right now. I went in there and I actually put a highest bid amount. So like if somebody else bidded, it would counter with my bid. Just so that like, just in case I'm doing something I can't bid right that second, that I have some room. So currently, the the last bid that it was at was 242 and that's what I put and it shows right here it shows that the current bid is 242 which is mine bid history you can see that's me right there but when I go back to the auction on here it says 322 it tells me I'm the highest bidder 322 I think is the amount that I put at 320 the one thing is like what is this picture oh it's pro it was probably really dark on me what is this? It's like sticky note. So we have officially one hour and 51 minutes. I'm so excited. Let's get it. It is T minus 41 minutes. No more bids have been placed so far. I'm excited. I don't know why. I probably shouldn't be this excited for something like this, but just unboxing this is going to be so fun for me. You guys know I love the mystery and half of this stuff in here, it doesn't even say what it is. 
So if I spend $320 for $2,800 of the stuff is not too bad. My guess is when it gets to about 15 minutes left, the bids are gonna go up, but we'll see because if somebody bids five, within five minutes of the ending time, then they extend it five minutes. You're down to the final four minutes. We have four minutes in three minutes and 27 seconds left. If anybody makes a bid, then it's extended another five minutes. All right, we got two minutes left. No bids. I'm waiting for a text. One minute and 51 seconds. 49 seconds left. I don't think anybody's gonna try to bid me. I, I, I'm holding my ground. I don't think so. I'll get a text right now. I got 40 seconds left. I just don't think anybody's about to outbid me. Whoa, 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 somebody bid. It's 2.42 now. Of course, somebody swooped. I knew, ah, oh, I knew it. Dang, man, they're gonna make me wait another four minutes. They just did that for no reason too, because I got the highest bid. 2.42 to 30. That's how I feel right now. Last time it happened at like 30 seconds. No one's outbidding me. They thought that they could do it. They can't. I'm winning this. We're there. Six seconds. Come on. Close at $342. See, did I win? Congratulations. You won. Total amount due $465.82. So $71.70 for shipping. A buyer's premium of $34. Not sure what happened there. And $18 in sales tax. After seeing that, you guys can tell we got a lot of stuff to get through and hopefully it's worth the money. Now to me as a YouTuber, it is worth the money because I get to make a video out of it and make the ad revenue off of that. And then I might even sell some of this stuff to you guys if it's in working condition that I might not use. So there are 83 items apparently. There's like a 2% range of whether or not of what comes in the box. So it may be like 80, it may be like 84. I don't know. There's just a lot of stuff. $342 is what it cost me and is worth over $2,800. So without further ado, I'm gonna have to find a way to show you guys all opening all this stuff because there's so much of it so let's just get into it if you guys are curious on how the boxes came this is kind of what they look like this one is kind of broken right here so if you can kind of see into it already i haven't peeked though it's got like arm container i ripped off the shipping label same here 27 31 there's some damage here damage there this is kind of you literally that's up. and apparently matt let me try to find the best angle this is not the angle. So I think this might be a good angle where I take things out here, place them in the back. That's gonna be the best thing. This table is kind of weird when I do these type of videos to kind of show you guys everything that comes in it. Let's open this up. This is the first one. I don't know if there's any correlation between the two. I honestly kind of put on gloves for this, but I'm gonna, I'm not going to. If you guys don't know when I get, like I don't even like touching the bottom of shoes because I know where they are, like where they go, like bathrooms and stuff. So stuff like this might be a little bit weird, but they're apparently returns. So hopefully they're not nasty. Let's go ahead first thing. Yes, I see. Well, I don't know. Yes, this could go bad. I see the keyboard that was like the main in that picture and it is heavy thank the lord so is there any stickers on it or anything does not say so this is a steel series apex m400 i think what i'm gonna do is test out some of the products that i like the most and see if they actually work so that'll be fun after this because this looks like a pretty cool keyboard i think it's led mechanical keyboard i've had one of these before open this bad boy up if anybody has recommendations for oh this is already cut for like knives for cool unboxings let me know this is taped up and returns can mean anything i've returned a good amount of things hopefully these work so the first thing we see red dragon this looks different already from what was on there so this is a wired mechanical keyboard from steel series wow that is so clicky but it says red dragon on there and there's nothing on the packaging nothing on here even says maybe that's how it is maybe like that's that's what this is called but say anything on here about Am I tripping or is this supposed to? Because this says like Apex 400, but it says Red Dragon on it. Plug this in real quick to see if this works. So this is an iMac Pro. So let's plug it in here. Ooh, it lights up. Keyboard. It works. That is so clicky. First product up works. This is actually pretty nice. And I'll probably end up keeping this. I, I don't know the retail value on that. I think 90 bucks or something. It'll be up on the screen, but it works. The only thing I'm confused on is a red dragon, but maybe that's just how it comes. All right, next thing I see is a white box, or this is paper, Amazon Basics paper. I actually could use this. This is a good thing right here. Multi-purpose paper, inspected by Amazon Warehouse. Why would somebody return paper? A whole lot of paper. I ship stuff, so this is useful. <laughs> this is probably worth like a, a $2 though. Oh man, let's see what else we got. We have have this is this looks like an ipad case this is something i probably can't get used out of a lot of these things what i might do is put them up on my website and then if you just pay for shipping you can have them or maybe i'll put up like two bucks this is an ipad i'm not sure exactly which ipad this is somebody wants this i'll give it to them for like two three bucks this looks perfectly fine unless no this looks fine this looks like nothing's wrong with it then we have a big box right here this is an amazon basics laptop stand open this guy up some of these say inspected some of them don't i don't maybe some of them don't need to be inspected it's empty no laptop stand in here why would 
Why is it empty box in here? I don't, I don't understand. Literally completely empty. We got this. And then we have there's a lot of technology stuff so far, but there are watches and things in here that kind of stood out to me. Let's see, what do we have? What do we have? This is a Ultra Voice M8 5000 microphone. This doesn't even look like it's been opened yet. I don't really have much use for this. I'm being 100% honest. Hey, it's in here. This looks pretty decent. I don't know how much this costs. Microphone, that's pretty cool. Not sure how much this costs, what the, what the purpose of this is, but I don't have much use for this. Actually, I could use it for a specific YouTube video. Four items deep. Looking pretty good. 342 bucks. Steel series, I'm assuming, is, is a decent amount of value, but there's a couple things in here that, ooh, this might be one of them right here. So this is a Psycho watch. Psycho's pretty decent. I hope it's a Psycho watch. I remember there's a Fossil. I think there's a G-Shock, something like that. Let's see. We have Psycho certificate limit to warranty. All right. Yeah, this actually is pretty decent. Nice little leather pouch right here. This isn't really my style of watch. This little simple Psycho watch is pretty clean, actually. It works too, so it's pretty decent. These are the parts of it that I that kind of related to me because a watch has to do with accessories, fashion. I would say this is more like an everyday watch. It's not too crazy of like a designer Gucci watch, but it's still kind of, it's clean. Like nothing wrong with that. That definitely, I think somebody could get some good use out of. I guess that was just a return. Let's see what else we got. We have smart dash camera. Honestly, I could use this. If this is like, if this actually works, oh, I might actually get some use out of this. You never know what people are doing in cars and stuff. Get a nice dash camera. This has to be like a hundred bucks. This is kind of cool. I'm not getting any power right now, but maybe it needs to be charged. Looks like somebody put this on their car and took it off. Oh, it probably is powered by when you plug it into your car. Let's go see if I can get this to mount in my car. It is freaking cold out. Why am I wearing a t-shirt? I definitely would need some new 3M, but Looks like it works. See, it just kind of shows the dash. Pretty straightforward. I just don't like how this cord would be hanging out all the time. I think that's something that I might look into just doing, like putting a little bit of more 3M on there just to have it. Because like when you're driving, you never know what you're going to see. That people are going to do something. And that's just a way of kind of like a security. If somebody like backs into you or something, you got it on camera. Let's get out of this coldness. So we're going to pull this out. We still got a good amount of stuff in here. If you guys want to peep this, we got a good amount of stuff. And still this whole box. I don't know what could be in here. A lot of it didn't have like names for us. So this is a international travel voltage converter. Oh, it has all the different adapters. Adapters. These things are like useful. Like this box is useful so far. The only thing I really can't use is probably like the iPad case and the microphone, but I could find uses for them. Like if I really needed to. This one says mount tech. Check out what we have. This just looks like, oh, it's just like a phone mount for your car. Yeah. Another thing I could use. There's a law in Georgia. You can't use your phone. This might be good use for me too, or give it to my fiance or something. Next thing up, we have just a male to female headphone jack. Bad for me because like, I just, I keep so much random stuff already. This is just gonna lead me to have so much stuff like don't use yeah this is a one terabyte seagate hard drive i i have no use for that uh one terabyte hard drive looks like we have another ipad case looks like for the same device doesn't say what device it is though oh this has a little holder for like a pen too if anybody's got this ipad you can get a steel another phone mount which all these are like could be really useful this one looks like it was like beat up though put this on the back of your phone and it just magnetizes and you can suck your cup what why did they not use this maybe they just didn't like it put this on your car and it magnetizes and you can put your phone useful Add it to the useful list. Next thing we have is a fire cable, USB to like any USB something. Not much going on with that. There is a Frozen, Disney Frozen DVD. Never seen this movie, don't really plan on it. Even if I have this, probably gonna donate this to like Goodwill or something. I'm not, I'm definitely not gonna be using that. A Traxxas power cell. This is for just like an RC car. I have no use for this, so I don't know what to do with that. And we have a rechargeable fillet knife battery. So I think you stick a knife in it and then it just goes like <laughs> Pretty random. What else do we got? We have, oh, this is like a music DVD. What else do we have? We have a Mophie battery, double XL battery stage. Useful iPhone. Holy, there's no charge. Maybe it's not working. I kind of want to peep. There's been a lot of good stuff in this box. So I kind of want to peep in this other box and see what's going on. Well, I'm gonna just pull this out. There's still some good stuff in there. It looks like we have a bunch of colored paper. This is what this was. I kept wondering like, what the heck this is. This matches my shirt. This is just a bunch of colored paper. Awesome. All right, there's the Mophie thing. What else do we got? Casio, we have Casio. Oh, another watch. This is like a female watch. A little female watch. There's another one in here. And I think it's the same thing. Oh no, this is a little bit different. This is so small. I'm thinking there's supposed to be some, it says something about clothing in there. So that's why I'm trying to wait and see what's in here. Another Casio box. Or oh, it's your grandma or grandpa's watch. Nice little silver watch. There's a lot of watches, more than I expected in here. Next thing we have is another power bank. Another power bank here. This is literally useful stuff. I know this is like, so far it isn't too much with fashion, but still. 
deal. Another power bank. Dang, man. Another little power bank. This matches my suitcase. It works. All right, so there's a few things in here that don't look like they relate to anything. American Flute Master pieces. I'm not going to do anything with that. Then we have an HDMI something. Classic cables, HDMI. Phone. Samsung phone power bear. Is this like an extra battery for... I don't even know what this is. And we have an Ethernet adapter. Nothing crazy. There's more paper office supplies. This is an iPhone cable. So this is a phone iPad stylus. Ooh, iPhone 6S smart battery case. It's actually probably expensive from Apple. This could be useful if somebody needs this. I'm not going to pull it out because I don't have an iPhone 6S. But then he does. Ooh, ooh. Okay, we got a record here. Billy Joel record. All right, I actually have a record player. Let's see if this works. Let's go over to the record player. We currently have Boston on the record player. Let's take this off and then add this Billy Joel. Now I'm going to play this a little bit different pitch so I don't get copyright claimed. I'm going to play for like two seconds. We can't always see when you write. Looks like we got a working record. Then we have a keyboard cover for a MacBook. We have a watch. Ooh, this looks pretty good. Ooh, here's the Fossil watch that they were talking about. Fossil's a pretty decent brand as far as watches and stuff. I would consider this a men's fashion watch. It is nice blue with rose gold. It's genuine leather on it. Doesn't look too used. Clock's chicken. That's pretty classy, actually. I know it's nothing crazy, but that's a pretty decent watch. We're gonna have to see what this looks like on. Then we have a camp. Ooh, yes. This is one of the main ones that I was waiting on. Because this could be useful if it... This is like the most expensive item out of the box. Refurbished Panasonic. Sonic 4K camera, and this could be something I could really use for the channel. When I go out, I don't have to bring this big A7 III with me. Camera, let's see. Nice. It doesn't come with a battery. Oh, there it is. This doesn't look like exactly... Let me put in an SD card so you guys can see what I'm looking at. There's the camera that we're looking at right here. Here's my rig. Is this a... Could this be a vlog... Whoa, that is so zoomed in. I don't know if this could be a vlog camera. Seems like it's a little zoomed in. So that was the most expensive thing out of the box, but maybe if somebody's wanting to start YouTube, they could get something like this. This could be a good one to start with because it's 4K video, so maybe this would be one that I try to sell you. You guys all right so that's the first box now let's get to this one now i think Ooh, it looks like we might have we might have some clothes in here finally ah yes this is the thing i was looking for too i see some clothes plus g-shock right here this is one of the uh the ones that i hopefully this isn't the only thing that's in here let me clean this up a bit i know so far this hasn't been too much fashion stuff but just wait. Literally so much stuff in my apartment. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this stuff. Let's hope that this second box has more fashion gear things because the first one was definitely more, I would say, on the technology side. So let's see. First thing we got is this and I see some... All right, so I see an... I Thanks, loud car driving by. I see an iPhone cable right here. This is like broken. Somebody uh, put this plugged into their phone and just ripped it out of the wall. An Amazon Basics charger. So we got iPhone charger. I see a box in here. This looks like, ooh, another mechanical keyboard. That could work. I was just thinking, Red Dragon, I think it's its own brand. And that's a Steel Series box. What if somebody, I think somebody bought the Steel Series and then did a little switcheroo, unless this is the Steel Series, kept the Steel Series and the Red Dragon. I don't know. Whoa, this one looks kind of crazy. Another mechanical keyboard. It's wild. Wait for it. Oh, that's not as clicky. Drevo gaming keyboard. Kind of cool. Hey, two gaming keyboards. That's pretty lit. Then we have, it looks like finally a freaking shirt or something fashion. <laughs> the watches are one thing. This looks like, this is a Fila shirt. All right. This is pretty decent. I mean, it's cool. Carolina blue, it looks like. It's decent. It's a t-shirt. doesn't, let's see. All right. Finally, we got something that's pretty bad. It doesn't look really that worn. So I don't know what happened. Somebody ripped the tag off, but finally a freaking shirt. All right. Let's see what else we Take this out. We have more protective case for, I have no clue what kind of phone this is for. And we have, looks like a mo- Ooh, another Apple charging case. Looks like for like an iPhone 6 or something. It looks really dirty though. Uh, another one of these. No case or anything. A pair of sneakers. All right, here we go. We're moving. We got something in here. I don't know how I feel about these. You guys can see I'm a bit of a hype beast. Uh, these are Ben Sherman sneakers. Let's have, ooh, some wear marks on it, it looks like. The back is green up here. You can see that. The back is green. There's guff marks all over the outside. Just a white pair of shoes, though. Ben Sherman. I'm not sure if this is a quality brand or this is expensive. They look very simple, like a very simple canvas shoe. I can't assume that they're, like, crazy expensive. Then we have, what is this? This is a, ooh, Nintendo Switch protective case. I don't have a Nintendo Switch. If anybody wants to plug me with one, I literally will have no use for that. I don't have a Switch. Some more Amazon Basics stuff. Let's see what we got. Six-foot iPhone cable. Yeah, it could be very useful. There's a reason why these things cost so little when they sell them on Amazon because they're pretty easily to break. Ooh, it looks like we have two more records. Dang, man. This was not on the manifest that there is records in here. Neil Young, and then we have a Sia. I'm gonna have to test these out real quick on the record player too. 
works too. This one's wrapped up. I don't know if I want to open this. Maybe I'll go see. There's a local record shop right by where I live and see if they want it. That's where you get my records. Let's see if maybe I could trade them for something because that's another Billy Joel. Three records. Wow, I didn't even know that. And then we have an inspected. This just looks like a bunch of converters for wall adapters. Yeah, I don't really want to open that up. It's going to go everywhere. Converters for wall adapters. And we have a mini blue compact amplifier. It's got a power. This looks pretty brand new too. I mean, I don't assume that that's too much because the most expensive thing in the box is like 180 retail. Another six foot iPhone cord. This one just looks a little bit used. Doesn't look really broken, but if they're returning it, my guess is that it might be broken. There's so much stuff. Karma battery GoPro. What is a GoPro? Is this a drone? The heck is this? This is a massive battery. Well, I don't have whatever this is, but that's kind of cool, I guess. Looks like we have a t-shirt from, this is a Puma shirt. Puma t-shirt, got Puma on the sleeve. I mean, it's just like an active wear shirt. Medium gray Heather fleece. All right, t-shirt. All right, what the heck is this? Thermal compound, it's like a syringe. This is to put together computers. I don't even want to open that. Wallet, cell phone case for iPhone, leather case. Phone slides in there and then you get your card holders. Xbox wireless. Xbox 360 charging base with two batteries. 360s aren't in use anymore, so. Oh man, let's see, let's see. We got another, uh, th ooh, this is an iPhone X case. This could be something that I could finally use. It's like a nice flip out stand. That's not bad right there. Oh, there are literally so many objects. Ooh, the G-Shock. Ah, this is, mm, I might have to, ooh, there's two of them. I'm gonna wait for that, I'm gonna wait for that. Let's see, GoPro Hero 5? This has to be just accessories. If there's a GoPro in here and it didn't say it on there, that would be so lit. There go. GoPro. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, there's a literally a GoPro in here. I swear the manifest did not say that there's a GoPro. Yo, yo, what? I'm literally so confused. It literally turned on. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? I don't know if other people like get things like that. I'm really surprised right now. Cole Han, Cole Han. We have, ooh, okay, a Cole Han wallet. That's pretty decent. Cole Han's nice. That's a nice brand. I mean, this is nice. I'm gonna give this as a gift to somebody. That's pretty cool. We have a Belkin dog. Th this box is perfect. This is a wireless charger for the iPhone X. So you just put the phone on it and it charges. Literally Christmas. And I paid 340 bucks for this. Pretty sleek too. Just freaking put your, I am hyped. Like, this is so much unnecessary stuff. We got another iPhone. Oh, this is like the exact same thing. This is another phone mount. Oh, it goes in the CD player. Huh, for CD slot. Wow, that's interesting. Another six foot iPhone cable, uh, iPhone char, or no, this is like a Samsung charger. Another phone mount. I'm gonna be giving these out to everybody. Goldstone where worlds collide. I've never heard of this. Another iPhone cable, lightning to headphone jack. So your iPhone, if you wanna plug in some stuff. Another charging base for the Xbox 360. Smartwatch, I, I literally don't know where my cutting device went like liquidation they just like literally just throw whatever's in there mm, this is kind of a little cheap this little smartwatch this just looks like your very basic smartwatch oh man we got a few more things we have another rc or like a battery we have a casio watch again same one as before it'll watch hey everybody Interrupted my filming. Well, my roommate just came home in the middle of filming. Cracks his battery. Another iPhone cable. We have another iPhone 6 foot cable. Another iPhone 7 smart battery case. There's a pretty decent sized box right here. iPhone cable with a wireless charger. Oh man, a Pucci Posca CD. We got two G-Shocks, one big box, a wireless mouse from in fit. Oh, this is supposed to be like an Apple mouth. Rose gold. My fiance might be able to use that. We got two G-Shocks right here. These look like an older box. This doesn't look like the same box that I've seen before. This is this G-Shock. This is kind of like a standard G-Shock right there. As you can see, nothing crazy. This isn't like the huge bulky G-Shocks that I'm used to seeing. Let's open this big box for you. Open the other G-Shock. This is an Amazon basic something. What do we got here? Oh, is this that laptop stand that was supposed to be in the other box? Amazon basic laptop stand. It's metal. And then lastly, we have another Another G-Shock. This looks to be the same. Wow, what a box. This was definitely geared more towards technology. So I hope you guys like stuff like that because I typically do fashion and stuff, but we got some shoes, two t-shirts, and the rest is just mounds. Let me take a minute to clean this up and I'll check back in, show you guys all this stuff. I just decided to leave out all the things that I thought were useful. The rest of it, I'm probably gonna donate to like Goodwill or Salvation Army, things like that. My local area, just things that I just have absolutely no use to. But let me show you what I went ahead and decided to keep. This is the majority of the good stuff here, as you guys can see. There's like seven watches. We got the power brick, got the wireless charger, stylus, iPad cases, the GoPro, dash cam, the keyboard, which I think is not meant, this is the wrong one that was supposed to be in the box. This keyboard, I'll probably end up getting rid of. This stuff 
stuff is cool. I don't know what I do with these, but they have some sort of use to shirts. We got the shoes. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. They're kind of cool, but I just don't know if I wear them. Turns out they're like 65 bucks. The rest of it all in here, I'm probably gonna donate or maybe I'll put some on my website, but I just, there's so much. So much stuff that I just don't know if I end up using. So I decided I'm just gonna do that. This was a long video. That's gonna wrap it up. If you guys didn't see the Yeezy giveaway, go ahead and do that down below. Go ahead and enter that. There's another giveaway as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out.